so I'm meeting Peter Fashionelli hopefully in three weeks at Eternal Twilight 8 and I'm really really nervous about this <laughs> um, this vlog is basically going to be about Eternal Twilight 8 and Peter Facinelli and just general stuff really um, I did have a Doctor Who blog um, sort of all planned out but I'm really sort of all about Eternal Twilight 8 at the moment so I might do my Doctor Who one later on I'm not sure yet because I've got got some things I wanted to talk to you guys about that but anyway yeah if any of you have seen my last blog you may have guessed that I'm really really I really really love Peter Facinelli yep he's my big he's my favorite actor and I've loved him ever since I first saw him as Carlisle Cullen in the Twilight Saga I wish I could say that I'd seen some of his earlier works like I wish I could say I first loved loved him in Fast Lane or something like that but it was actually Twilight that brought me to Peter so in that way I'll always be thankful for that um, and I really just want to talk to you guys about <laughs> well Peter's portrayal of Carlisle and some of his other works that some people may not be aware of um, I know he's most well known for Twilight and also Nurse Jackie where he plays Coop um, and that's another character I absolutely love because he's just so, he's just such a jerk but so funny um, so I want to talk to you first about Eternal Twilight 8 I've never actually been to a convention not for Twilight, not for Doctor Who or anything like that so I'm not quite sure what to expect I've looked at the Eternal Twilight 8 website and, it's told, and I've got a lot of information from there and it sounds fun I'm really looking forward to obviously meeting all the guests like Carlisle, <laughs> Peter obviously. Oh, for fuck's sake, Car Peter is Carlisle. <laughs> Stupid. So I'm looking forward to meeting Peter, and also Daniel Cudmore, who plays Felix of the Volturi. Um, he looks really good. He looks sounds really nice, and I can't wait to meet him. Also, Jill Birmingham, um, who plays Billy Black. So I'm really looking forward to meeting all three of them and it's, it's nice that we get this opportunity to meet some of the cast of Twilight, because, especially for European fans like myself because uh, most of them are based in, all of them are based in America and it's very difficult for any European fans, unless you've got a lot of money, to actually go over and meet them anywhere so I'm really appreciative of this convention for us. Um, as to the convention itself, I'm really looking forward to the themed parties. On Friday night we've got Renesmee's birthday party, so I'm not sure how I would dress up for that. I might not dress up for that particular one because I really have no idea what to do. Some people are going as kids cartoon characters, and I think some people are going as, you know, some of the Twilight characters, etc, etc. I don't know. Do I have to dress up, or can anyone just wear what they want. <laughs> um, Saturday night is the prom night I believe. Um, I've already got my sort of dress planned for that so that's not too hard. And obviously on Sunday night it's pyjama party which hey <laughs> I love. I love nothing more than to sort of relax in my pyjamas so look, definitely looking forward to that one. Might spend all day in my pyjamas I don't know. <laughs> um, and personally I hope Peter Facinelli wears his pyjamas because that would be nice. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, it sounds like a really great convention and obviously there's been quite a few of these over the years. Um, if anyone's actually been to one of these before and is watching this video, could if you free, feel free to share your comments in the, in, well, in the comments box below, obviously, because I really want to know what other people's experiences are of this convention. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things, but I, I want to hear like a wide range of views. Um, so, I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. I've made this video about six times and nothing's come out right. So, I'm just going to do it as it is. And if people don't like it, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I just I just get so frustrated. Um, so, I'm going to move on to talk about Peter Facinelli. It's linked in with Eternal Twilight 8. <laughs> um, and as you might have guessed by now, I absolutely love the guy and I'm a little bit obsessed with him. So... Peter, be scared if you're watching this. Be very scared. Um, 
Um, a lot of people know Peter as Carlisle Cullen in the Twilight Saga, and some may know him as Dr. Fitch Cooper in Nurse Jackie, which is a great program generally, and I really want, and I, I urge any of you who haven't seen Nurse Jackie to check it out. It's brilliant. Um, in case you haven't, if it's, this is Nurse Jackie. It is fantastic. It's a dark comedy, and Edie Falco as Jackie is just incredible. Really, really great. So, please just check it out. It's awesome. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Peter is known for Nurse Jackie and obviously Twilight. But he's done a few other works, which I'm not sure many people are aware of, or if they are, haven't taken that much notice. Um, more, most recently, Peter sort of wrote and made his own movie called Lucy's. Unfortunately, it's not... It's not actually available in Europe yet, but I believe it might be being released in the UK and Japan at some point, as far as I know. Um, I've ha I've been lucky enough to actually see Lucy's, and it is a wonderful film. Very, very well written by Peter. I'm not biased. I actually do think it was a really well written film. And what Lucy's is about, it's about a young pickpocket called Bobby, who, uh, which is Peter's character, um, and he pickpockets the streets of New York for a living um, and he also works for a man named Jax because his father was in debt to Jax um, the, uh, and it's pretty well the cast is actually really great um, you have Lucy played by Jamie Alexander who is the main love interest in the film and she's Jamie is brilliant in this I really really sort of the, the chemistry between Peter and Jamie in this film is fantastic it's really really good um, I also really liked um, Michael Madsen in this film as one of the police officers I really you know haven't seen I haven't seen much of him about for a long time but it was great to see him being cast in another film and I always think that's worth he, he's also he, they all do really sterling roles in this so I just checked the film out. So Lucy's is actually available on DVD, Region 1 in America. If you've got a multi-region DVD player, I would advise you to sort of rent or buy the film, get it imported, because it is fan it is a great film. I mean, I know I keep using the same words, but I'm not really great at descriptions. So <laughs> it is a great film. And Peter is actually a real, Peter's character, Bobby, is really likeable, despite what he gets up to. Um, so you you really identify with the character, I think. Um, you can also, for anyone who lives in America, you can obviously just buy the DVD. But like I said to the European fa fans, um, if you've got a multi-region DVD player, that's pretty much the only way you can see it. Although I know that you can get the Scandinavian, um, or the Swedish version of Lucy's um, a Region 2 DVD, so it might be worth checking out Amazon and seeing that. So yeah, I'd recommend that film. Also, Peter has also, obviously, he's also done t a lovely, lovely TV movie called Touch the Top of the World, and that's based on a true story. Of, um, the guy that was called Eric Weinmayer, and he was the first blind guy to climb Mount Everest. It's, re it's a really impressive story, and I was really moved by it. But what really moved me about the actual TV movie was that Peter's portrayal of Eric, really, really beautiful portrayal, and there's some really heart, heartbreaking scenes in this movie. Um, but, but Peter plays it wonderfully, and I actually think that this is my favourite role he's ever done because he's just given the performance of a lifetime in this. It's it's beautiful, really heart, really moving. Um, again, this movie is not available to European fans. It's it's only out in America, which is a shame. <sighs> I find this a lot with Peter movies. <laughs> a lot of them aren't available for for um, for us us European fans, which sucks. But there are ways of watching them. I mean, the multi-region DVD player is the one that I would suggest because that's what I want to do. I'm gonna go and get a multi-region DVD player so that I can buy some of the movies that are only available in in America. Um and the other one that actually is available in Europe is Ark. Now this one, I have the DVD here. 
this one is a really really good film um, and it's about a, a story of a guy called Paris Pritchard and he's a former police officer turned drug dealer and so he goes on a quest to find a missing child um, in the hopes of sort of redeeming his character um, and now I really really loved this film um, it, I really thought that Paris was an interesting character I mean yeah he's, he's there's nasty aspects to him but you can find some there is a redeeming quality in him and he obviously wants to, he wants to improve himself because he's he's fallen he's fallen by the wayside um, and I love the sort of use of the different colors in the movie um, it, a lot of it is black and white but there's some really interesting um, sort of like some bits will be lit up in color while others are just completely black and white and I always think that's really interesting um, I'm not sure why it was used yet, but I really want to find out more as to how this happened. Um, so yeah, Peter plays Peter in that movie plays Paris, um, and I, I just I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a wonderful, if a wonderful if not dark tale about redemption, and I enjoyed that. I mean, there's plenty of other movies that you can movies and TV shows that Peter's done. I'd recommend checking out Fast Lane. Um, uh, Peter played a character called Van Ray, um, and I loved that so much. <laughs> um, again, I don't think that's available out here in Europe. Sucks, <laughs> but like I, I just, I just check it out in any way you can because it's, it's wonderful. And I wish they would make another series of it because it, it is brilliant. Um, that's all I really have to say. But Peter has got a long, long history of work. And I would just, anyone who really hasn't sort of checked him out, I would just sort of go on his official website or Twitter him or whatever and just check him out because he's, he's great. <laughs> and I'm sounding like a, gu a gushing school kit girl here now, but I do love Peter. I think he's amazing. So uh, if you're not following Peter Facinelli on Twitter, why not? <laughs> you can just find him at Peter Facinelli simple as that and his official website is um, peterfaccinelli.com I think <laughs> I think I've got that far enough I think I've got the address right it's a great website and but I like his Twitter more because he updates it re quite regularly I mean at, at the moment he's actually filming a movie called Gallows Hill in Colombia um, and it's a horror movie as far as we know so I'm really looking forward to that because I like horror movies uh, horror movies scare the shit out of me, <laughs> but I like the feeling of being scared, so I can't wait for that one to come out. And hopefully, Peter, it's going to come out in Europe. It's a global release. Please let it be that, because I couldn't bear it if it just came out in America and we didn't get the chance to see it. Oh, um, um, I don't know really what else to say. Um, I just keep ranting because I'm silly like that. <laughs> um, but. Going back to Eternal Twilight 8, um, uh, it's at the Hilton Metropole in Birmingham. Okay, so Bir Birmingham, I'd, I haven't been to Birmingham much, I quite like it, um, I, but I'm not sure. I won't have the, the time to explore it properly, but the Hilton the Hilton Metropole looks amazing and I'm, I'm, I'm staying in the Hilton for three nights, um, as we would at the convention, and they've got a swimming pool there, so I'm going to use that during in between events and etc. And if I run into Peter Facinelli in the swimming pool, oh, dream. <laughs> oh dear, listen to me, I'm talking like, sh I'm just, oh, I'm swooning and I'm really embarrassing and God help me if anyone actually sees this, Jesus Christ. Um, I will get better at this blogging thing um, as I go, but right now, I'm just rambling away about things that I love and stuff like that because it's easier than writing it down <laughs> and I don't know what else to say <laughs> except I love Peter Facinelli and if you don't what is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry um, I'll speak to you guys next time I'm gonna probably make a Doctor Who blog next um, probably gonna be about David Tennant and Matt Smith um, and I'll do that at some point. <laughs> uh, I'm really running out of things to say now, so I'll just stop talking. Alright, um, well, I hope you enjoyed this crazy blog from me and my complete raving about Peter Facinelli. 
because you know wow insane <laughs> wow I am insane and I hope Peter doesn't think I'm he's really scared of me or anything like that because I hope not <laughs> um, all right I will see you guys soon all right